So we're going for a ride in this uh, Dynasty It. Um, it does kind of remind me of the city car a bit in that it's a really simple design. Also, uh, the left door makes a pretty good armrest. Otherwise, it's kind of a little narrow. Although, it's got great headroom. Um, decent passenger space over here. Nice and simple. Just flip it to drive, take the parking brake off, and off we go. Whee! I have found that small vehicles like this are really good when you have nice weather because you can keep the windows down, you get the nice breeze. Typically vehicles like this aren't going to have air conditioning in them. This one does have a defogger defroster, so it's just a fan that blows up onto the windshield and that does have a heat setting, which I would imagine is probably not too good for your range in winter, but uh, it's got a real glass windshield and a real defroster on it, which uh, if you're in some place like Wisconsin, you definitely need. Uh, this does have regenerative braking on it. I can feel when the regenerative brakes kick in, which is kind of neat. And also that is tweakable. So that can be reprogrammed. Um, right now it's kind of set so that when you let all the way off the accelerator, uh, it's pretty much coasting, no regen. But when you press the brake in, I really can feel right when the regen kicks in, which is kind of slick. I also noticed that the tires that this vehicle uses are the uh, same as uh, Geo Metro. So uh, you can uh, get tires for these things. You don't have to go someplace crazy. Not that the 13 inch tires are super common anymore, but at least they're available. Uh, I also know when I was talking with a guy about the Zens a while back, he said they're not very good in snow, but when you put actual snow tires on them, they're surprisingly good. And I would think this vehicle would be pretty much the same. It is front wheel drive and AC, so that does work pretty well with the uh, regenerative braking. But the other thing is the batteries are in front, so you get all that weight over the drive wheels. So I would imagine that this with uh, some snow tires on it would actually be a decent little vehicle. Now, right now, this is set up for a top speed of uh, about 28 miles per hour. Legally, they're only supposed to go 25, so that's about right. Now, just... Uh, Apparently, with this motor and everything, the way it's set up, uh, just reprogramming the motor controller, uh, you can get a top speed of about 38 miles per hour out of this. It is uh, full manual steering. Oh, here we go. Jeez. <laughs> uh, the way the throttle's programmed right now is uh, you can stomp it to the floor. It'll do a real nice smooth ramp up. But uh, if you just put the pedal to the metal, about a second later you really start feeling the torque so it's it's really not bad it's uh it's kind of fun little car to drive kind of gets the looks it's sort of cute and i'll turn it around and then we'll park it and then just the one last thing i wanted to show you was from the driver's point of view here i am you can see me in the mirror um it's very, very straightforward. You just got uh, your steering wheel right here, your battery display. Um, all you do, put the key in, flip it to on, wait a second, you hear the main contactor click, and then this is your gear selector right here. So we're in neutral. If we put in reverse, the backup beeper starts. And if we put it in drive, all you got to do is press the accelerator and off you go. So I hope you enjoyed going for a little test drive of this uh, Dynasty It. It's a neat little interesting vehicle. Uh, remember, you can always uh, head on over to 300mpg.org for more of my do-it-yourself clean transportation projects. See you there.